Light fire every night to, to stay warm. Oh, okay. Inside the house or not? No, just in the courtyard or inside. We have a firehouse. You know where we okay. do our cooking. We have an oven. We cook very often with an oven. So shall I start the engine now? Oh, I'll give it a minute. Just make sure this fire is sustainable. Sustainable, yeah. Yeah, the design, the original design had a, a barrel okay. on wheels, and it had, in the front, it had a, um, like I said, it had a blower about where the, um, where the, this grinder is. Okay, okay. And then it blew air into a, you had a collar around the front of the barrel. Okay. So it preheated the air, and then it came along a channel at the edge, and then down. Down, okay, forced draft kind the of fire. thing. Okay. And then it had a, you had like a vortex that went around. The thing and then up the chimney. Okay. And right in the front you had an ash an ash, ash box. Tree. Okay. Yeah. So the fire went down. So it was a much more highly designed How was it called a pre Huh? Well you you had a barrel and then on the outside of the barrel you had a square collar. Okay. So the air the air came from the engine around the collar. Okay, okay. And then and then along the edge of the barrel and then into the fire. So, okay, okay, okay. so the air was was okay. So, so the, by the engine seat itself. Yeah, engines yeah. Uh, on the, the compressor from side. The, from the well, from the from the from the burner. The burner was was, uh, was So there. one part of the burner actually heated the air. Yeah. The other part of the burner heated the engine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. With an extrusible heat, got so much surplus heat in, right, in, right. in a situation like this. That's the thing. There was a. And then there was a vortex. Yeah. Yeah. Around because it was a round fire and it was around and it went then round and then up the chimney and so it was a very efficient fire when you had a very small viewing window you could see the fire going around. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so so when the engine came it was with the, all, all those that systems. all that was all that was designed yeah. Okay okay. A barrel with wheels. Uh, wheels what for the wheels? Well, so you lit your fire. You, oh. you pulled it back. You lit your fire inside, and also we used to clean the hot end. With right, a, right, right. Like they instructed me, at the end of running it, I ran a small pipe from the uh, from the outlet oh. pressure, and used to blow the dust off the fins, <laughs> fins off the hot end. It was right, a right, sort right. of a way of off the fins, yeah. Right to redu remove the that suit. You can try and turn it now and see if it see if it starts. Yeah. So this is fun. Should I try it more? You're going to well, like, show me. What you sometimes going to do when it's fully loaded like that, Yeah. you've got to give it a bit of a... It's okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, takes time to. But this is great, huh? Well, when I first came to India, all the railways were steam, you know? Oh. <laughs> and you've got you a problem, you know, you've got a problem with the big local uh, train junction. Where, where? You've got a problem. You've got a problem. Yeah. You've got a problem. You used to be, you have a problem at night. And, uh, you know, you, you can see why every child in my childhood wanted, wanted to be a train driver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because you had all these mobs and whistles and right, things. Right. 
But now you're going to train driver who sits there with a fish. <laughs> no more fun. No more fun. Yes. So when did you come to India? 1971. 71. Yeah. Okay. So thereafter you built Sterling engines uh, or... Uh, I never built Sterling engines. Okay. I've always um, I've modified Sterling engines. Okay, okay. And played around and I've built steam engines. Steam engines, okay. I, well, I don't say I have, I've built model Sterling engines. And the model Sterling engines just using tin cans and water. Ah, 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 tin cans. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I've done that. Great. I'm pretty sure many people will be happy to see this video. <laughs> it's like it's like going on the internet that does anybody know about this engine? Does anybody know? Yes. It's like a mystery. Yes. Well, yeah, for me it's uh, yeah. When I had it, when I originally had it pumped in water, yeah, I, I did a, a week of uh, exhibit, you know. Oh, exhibit. Yeah, people come and uh, and uh, people had never heard of it. Right, right, right. It was for them was completely astounding, you know. Right, right. So with fire you get water. With <laughs> <laughs> light fire you yes. get flowing water. Yeah, it's an elemental exchange. <laughs> <laughs> the water is cold. It'll warm up again. Okay. The engine stops and the fire is still running. It's okay. I know I used to worry about all those things in the beginning, but now I don't. You know? So it's, it's kind of a maintenance free engine. Yeah, basically, yeah. I think it's such a. I mean, if it was a highly tuned engine, uh -huh. you know, and it was uh, it was much more highly designed, then it would be a critical thing. But right, right. I think there's so much uh, leeway. Right, right. In this, uh, in the principle and the design. So it's like, uh, and it would cost you say about what in ten days, uh, ten years back. They say it would, it was worth thirty thousand. Thirty thousand rupees. Okay. If you, they, I think they did actually sell a few of them. Oh, they sold them. Yeah. All okay. So this technology is still. Okay, with the efficiency we don't know, right? The efficiency of this. Well, it, yeah, no, I think, I don't know, it's something like 45 percent. Mm -hmm. Oh, 45 percent yeah. would be very high. Yeah, I think it is quite high uh, because it is very few moving parts, and you measure the efficiency uh, by the uh, 
difference between the temperature of the fire and the temperature of the water. Right, right, right. That's, right. That's, that's, sort of that's the Carnot efficiency. Yeah. yeah. But that would be a so theoretical. Be, uh, yeah, theoretical. Yeah, I don't know, but I know that it's fundamentally more efficient than, for instance, the internal combustion engine. The right. Principle is more. Efficient. Principle is more efficient, yeah. but yeah. implementation it takes uh, like. Uh, yeah. Only big engines and done in very high tech laboratories have been able to breach right. that yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah. When, uh, like in that book in in Bangladesh, what they did is the engine efficiency was about 8%. Only, was it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think it can be improved because this technology is still a bit old. Yeah. From 1985, this engine, the work was started in 1985. Yeah. Yeah. So right now we can build much. Yeah, no, efficient and good. also this is not compressed at all. Yeah. So even that Hakka one was uh, about only five bar. Yeah. Five times atmosphere. Yeah. 